The same I extend to our speaker, Honorable Wetangula, for having been elected um, to be the speaker of both of you for the 13th Parliament. I also would like to take this opportunity to congratulate all members having gone through rigorous election exercises and finally by the grace of God you have had an opportunity to be in this august house. Above all, Madam Speaker, I wish to recognize on behalf of those members of our society with living with disabilities one way or another in this country. And I wish to express my greatest and deepest gratitude to constituencies that elected members uh, with disabilities in this country. They are great. I wish to congratulate them for not seeing the physical, but saw the person and character of the individuals elected. I also want to take this opportunity to thank and to appreciate most sincerely my party, the United Democratic Alliance, under the leadership of His Excellency, the President of our Republic, William Samoe Ruter, having considered me, among others, to be representative of special interest groups and persons with disability. I wish to say how deep and grateful I am um, to be given an opportunity. I look forward that my life in Parliament in the next five years I will make contribution towards improvement in terms of legislation and representation on needs of persons with disability amongst others in this country. Madam Speaker, as I listened to the opening uh, speech, inaugural speech of our speaker, he mentioned about several bills that needed to be revived in the House we looked at them and some of the bills which we thought should have been there includes those bills that touches on persons uh, with disabilities, one of which had progressed from the last parliament to Senate and it's still there. We would like to have it looked at afresh and in soon we will approach your office um, we've had a meeting with the Kadiba, which is a caucus group. We will be bringing the attention of the House that we need a relook on the instruments that helps persons with disability in this country and their families and guardians and people who are uh, related to them one way or another in making them enjoy uh, the benefits of the constitutional provision uh, thanks to our constitution. So we will be, we intend to bring into the house and the attention of the house a relook on our acts, the disability act, the po national policy on persons with disability, the regulations, uh, some of which are ambiguous in operation and therefore it has hampered administration and capacity to administrate and to implement the act. So, Madam Speaker, we will be drawing the attention of the House uh, to the same. Today, as I make my maiden speech, I want to join colleagues who have contributed over time um, the last four days on one aspect, and that is security. Matters security is one of the contributing factors to disability, where there is war, insecurity, people are injured, and we create more disables in the country. I wish to appeal that maybe it will be necessary to relook really at the, um, the causes and the issues that are underlining 
in areas that has been unstable in our country, in the northern part, the eastern coastal area, and what we have in Rift Valley, I mean, northern part of Rift Valley uh, belt, that there is got to be a concerted effort by all leaders. And look at this issue of um, cattle rustling as a menace that can be controlled. Having lived and worked and um, participated in the um, faith-based um, services in this country for the last over 40 years, I have, in my opinion, um, concluded that this thing requires more of a, con a political goodwill rather than any other uh, methods. The others are secondary, but there is no, there has never been a political goodwill at national and um, uh, local level. So perhaps this House will consider at one point to reintroducing, we introduce a motion that we establish a task force of this Parliament to study and to let the people participate in contributing as to know why and what are the causes and the remedies towards insecurity and especially in areas which are affected in the communities. With this, Madam Speaker, I wish to thank you for giving me the opportunity. I guess I've been trying um, since uh, we started, but I think um, I was a bit analog, there was one button that I did not press, so I thought I could not see it, but thank you very much. Um, may God bless you. Good morning. A member for Makueni County. Okay, she's not there. A member for Wajia West. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to make my first median speech in this house. Allow me to start with by thanking the Almighty Allah who has given me this opportunity to represent the people of Wajia West in this Axed House. 